Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like it doesn't think uh, for those most want acts, uh, accountability should be on the table. I think everybody should be held accountable. It's a very high standard. And you want to know something else? This is what I tell the police. That police accountability bill, just like body cams, reminds you that in the vast majority of cases, our cops are doing the right thing. It's a way to reinforce, it's a way to build trust in the community. That's what it means to do. The other guy wants to tear it up. I'm, I'm proud of the fact that we signed it. And I'll tell you just one other thing when it comes to, um, I've added more state police. I, I support more municipal police as well. We put money there, and I want to make sure we have the most diverse police corps we've ever had. I think that's so important. I want people in the community right next to where I was in Harding be able to look at a police person and say, hey, that's somebody who understands where I'm coming from. That's somebody who is there to keep me safe. I don't want a divide. I want people working together. I think you know where I stand on that, Scott. Specifically, share your thoughts on how the Randy Cox case should be handled in some ways. It was outrageous. It was shocking. And I think uh, people should be held accountable. I'm not going to jump to judgment. I know there's an investigation going on. I'm governor. I can't just you know make it up. Um, but I, I think um, what I saw, what I heard, um, accountability is going to have to be on the table, and I think there's going to have to be some sort of a settlement. That said, let's let the um, chip fall where they may. Let's see what the investigation brings. You know, if I send you on that, that's guy. <laughs> see you. <laughs>